Wake up, bitch, and welcome back to another edition of Early Morning Slow Jams. I'm your host, DJ Big Willie, and if you don't watch my stream, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, man. As you can see here, the game we are playing is the Stanley Parable. Now, yesterday I uploaded There Is No Game, and a few people in the comments suggested the Stanley Parable because I said I enjoyed the narrator in the game. I thought the narrator was a cool part, and apparently this entire game is just about the narrator. So I'm going to upload the first part of the game here. If you guys like it, I'm sure I'll be able to tell from the comments and the view counter. So if you do like it, I'll keep posting it. And if not, I'll fucking, I'll never post it again. So let's get into the Stanley parable, right? Let's do it. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley Steamer. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Was it Stanley Employee Steamer? Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> what this is what Employee job, 427 dude. did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As I bet he got paid guap. Exactly a guapo. Stanley did you guys hear about El Chapo? Broke out of jail? Holy shit, how did that happen? He dug a tunnel, dude. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He shit his pants. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. The order no stopped. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting. Company went belly up. Hi. Never in all Everybody go short. The company Stanley Steamer. This, happened. this complete isolation. It's a trading joke, Something you don't get it. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Don't go, Stanley! Don't leave your cubicle! Oh shit, is this... <laughs> is that my cue to move? Okay. So, my name is Stanley. I fucking hate Mondays. Oh my god, it's Monday right now. How did he know? Sharpen my pencils, sharpen my cock. Alright, I'm gone. Let's get out of here. All of his co-workers were Whoa. Gone. What could it mean? What was Stanley that? Decided to Is this like a horror meeting. game? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I like this narrator. He's gonna talk me through the whole game, huh? How do you open doors? He didn't tell me what to do. Okay, I don't think I can open that one. Let's keep moving along. What's in the yellow file? Nothing. Alright. Okay, all the freaking doors are locked. 420. Blaze Stanley up. went around touching every oh, little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> what are you trying to say? When I'm not Stanley doing this right? A set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if I want to go to the one on my right? I'm just going to listen to him. Fuck it. Oh, no, he closed behind me. I have a feeling this is a game that, like, depending on the choices you make, that's what happens in the story. That's normally how all games work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Oh, God, I'm going to get shut in here with all the red markers. Yes, there was not a Fuck. single person here either. I don't want to get fired. Talk less. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What the fuck? Boss? Hey, boss. Mr. Yankovich. Coming to Mr. A Steamer. Oh, Stanley shit. walked upstairs to his boss's office. Fuck. Should I just disobey this guy? I'm gonna keep listening to him for now. Yo, boss. Yo, boss, where the fuck is everybody? Holy shit, your office is way nicer than mine. You must get paid some real dinero, cuh. You got a fucking bear head in here? Deer head? Stepping Lion into his head? manager's okay. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. My office Shot, now, bitch. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? 
What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And what so keypad? had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2845, a key thing behind the desk? Two, oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck, I hit the wrong one. Wait, let me restart. 2845. Oh, you Trying shut your fucking anything mouth. On the device would get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the It keypad. wasn't random, Stanley I messed up on the first one, there's no backspace. Code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Is he talking shit, dude? What passageway? Where? Oh my god. What is this? Yo, my manager is balling. What is this? This is starting to feel scary now. This feels more like a horror game. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going downstairs. Put me in the elevator. I need some water. Wow, that tastes plain. <laughs> Loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized. Am I going to hell where I belong? <laughs> it was a oh man! Emotion in his chest, Maybe I'll see my grandpa he here. Ah, oh, that was bad joke. <laughs> to question the nature bad of Bad joke. Job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right. What did he even just say? I wasn't really listening. I should listen Stanley more. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, the fuck Stanley didn't. No, he did not. Stanley took a left, and he didn't get mind controlled. Stanley escaped. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Nope, 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 nope. Stanley nope. thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yo, I actually love this game, dude. Oh my god, I don't want you to control my mind. Fuck it. I wish you would tap into my mind. You wouldn't last a second. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Holy what shit, it's the Matrix. Did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't. I do. Fuck this guy. No one's controlling me. I know what I'm doing. Give me another place to go. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Oh Each my bore the God. number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals. They've been spying on us. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place uh. where freedom meant nothing. What does this? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> God damn it, I love this narrator guy. I need to figure out his name. I want to thank him for helping me. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Where am I at? 427. Someone's control all this time. That's me. Was this the only reason he was happy? That's my office. Job, that his emotions right have been there. manipulated to accept it blindly. Huh? I go this way? Oh, this doesn't look good. Holy shit, that's a steep fall. I don't trust machines. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Yeah, Never. fuck that. It was unthinkable. Let me out of here. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No. But here was no, the I... roof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or content, walking, eating, working, all of Turn it on. commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Nah, for fuck that. Turn it on. I want to see it. Dismantle the controls once and for all. How do I do that? Facility power. I really just want to turn it on just to see. What's happening? What does this button do? Big red button doesn't do shit. Since when? 10? That didn't do anything. Alright, these buttons are broken. Fuck your buttons. Hashtag fuck your buttons. Alright. 
Mind control, awaiting input. I know the code. It's 2548. Plug it in. System power. Oh my god. We're turning and it. When at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Or not. Oh, Stanley. <laughs> you didn't just activate the controls, did you? Fuck After yeah, I did. You enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Yeah, it's my turn. You wanted control. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, Stanley. I what? applaud your effort. I really do. But you Thanks. need to understand. There's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, I want to make this like five episodes, though. How the fuck am I going to do that? I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley I don't even know what that means. He had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In what the, the fuck event, does the that mean? Activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. What the fuck? The complex. How long until detonation then? Say, um, two minutes. Oh, fuck ah, you. Making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? Oh, my it's God, it's going to explode. You what do you mean? Star. It's your story now. <laughs> Shape it to your heart's desires. <laughs> I oh, fucking hate better you. better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy. <laughs> I hate you. Moments until the bomb goes off. <laughs> what bomb? Moments, There's no bomb. Moves. You're bluffing. More time to talk about You're bluffing. About me. Where we're going. Don't tell me that. Tell me what to do, you sick fuck. Oh my god. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. No, I'd like to know how to get out. Before you're obliterated. All right. I'm in a Oh my god. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Come on. I raised them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. What? Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Don't you fucking say that, the Stanley time, Steamer. I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. What is what wrong you with you? make sense of everything and take back the control rested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. I don't know I'm what sure to whatever do. Whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Just don't let the bomb explode. Only 34 seconds left. Fuck but you. I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Wait. These are precious no, I broke additional it. seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. What do you. So? Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yes! Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yes! I thought it was this! Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Fuck you, man! No, these colored ones. Incorrect. Or maybe this big red button. Or Incorrect. this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. This. Why would you think <gasps> that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No, you won't tell me. <laughs> this guy is evil as shit. I don't even like him anymore. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just what is it? seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you made humble. I hate this guy. It's not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's you're fine. bluffing. But I'm going to destroy it first. So no, you won't. Can't. The game's gonna continue. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 20. thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds. Oh shit! He's not bluffing. He's not bluffing. bluffing. There's a bomb. What do I do? Two five four eight. I need two five four eight. Wait. I don't have enough time. Oh, don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. He wasn't bluffing. 
Am I dead? Is never the end? Is never the end? Did I just lose? What the fuck? All right, guys. That's going to do it for the first video of fucking Stanley Steamer or whatever. This is the Stanley Parable. I thought the game was amazing. I really thought he was bluffing. Apparently, I picked the wrong thing. So let me know uh, in the comments below if you guys want to see more of this, if you'd like to see me continue. If so, I'll go back through. We won't do the first part again, but I'll, I'll go back. I'll hit no instead of yes and possibly make the game go on a little longer. I thought I would be evil, but apparently that's not the way to go. I should have just listened to the narrator the entire time instead of being a jackass. I love the way the game worked though. Like you could be going a certain way and then turn around, change your mind. And the guy, the narrator would just know according to where you were on the level. I thought it was cool as shit, but uh, once again, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me continue on, and hopefully you guys did enjoy the video here today. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, just refresh it and give it another chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have an...